Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Alicia. Today I have a TJ Maxx haul and um, a Stitch Fix uh, shop your look. Also to Diane O, um, I ended up ordering this in a 2X from Maurice's and I had offered up my other one in a 1X. And Diane, you had said you would like it. Um, I replied back with my email. So if you still want this top um, in the 1X, please go back to where you commented and I put my email. Anywho, let's get in. Let's do the Stitch Fix uh, shop your look first. So I have been really lucky this month and I got some Maurice's, I got uh, three things for my Wantable and then I kept five for five for Stitch Fix. And so I had, I think my Stitch Fix was on the way when this came in the shop your looks. Um, I've already tried it on. I will try it on again today for you guys and I would love your input. Keep or send back. I'm kind of leaning towards send back, but it was a unique and I liked it. Or I should say the pattern was unique and I liked it. Um, so it was a Daniel Rain. I also had $30 credit from um, a gift card. And so I've had a style similar to this. I mean, that's my whole thing with Stitch Fix is they keep having the same thing over and over again. Um, but this is a Daniel Rain Arley button detail top navy 2x. I believe it was about $58. Um, I like the little details here. What I liked was that it's a navy, so it's kind of a solid neutral, and I really liked the little micro polka dot. And so I really thought I'd regret it if I didn't try it, plus I had the credit. I tried it on, and at that moment, which is a couple days ago, I wasn't like in love, like, oh my gosh, I'm so happy I got it. But I might change my mind today when I try it on for you guys. But um, I went from pretty much nothing I loved in my closet to now I have like a bunch of things I'm so excited to wear to work. So I think that might be part of it. Um, so anyway, we'll try this on um, and you guys can tell me keep or send back. All right, let's get into the TJ Maxx haul. It's been a minute. I think since I've done one of these, I don't think, I don't think I did one in June, but who knows. Um, so I've been, it's been hit or miss for me for Marshalls or TJ Maxx. They're one of my favorite stores to go look. And then it's hard for me not to come out with some things, but I will say there for a long time, it's been really hit or miss. So even though it's August and it is very hot in California, I'm not sure, maybe in other places, fall starts creeping in in August. It's been so long since I've lived in Indiana. I don't remember, but I know there's, you know, football games and things might be starting in August. But here it is like full blown summer. August is pretty much hot, 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 sun, sun, sun. So anyway, I'm not even remotely in to thinking about fall, pumpkins, Halloween, but Last year, when I finally got around to feeling like it, like late September, early September, whenever, my TJ Maxx and Marshalls pretty much were a zero pumpkin stuff around. So anyway, in all honesty, we go crazy for Halloween, Christmas, and Easter. So this probably wasn't necessary, but I could not say no. This will go, I think, on the floor by our mantle. I love this. It was $19.99. It is solid wood. The spiders are metal, I think. They feel metal. Um, I just couldn't say no to this. I love this. We love holidays. I don't know. Definitely, I don't even, I don't know if I needed anything for decorations. Honestly, I need to remember to take a picture of our decorations. So when I start shopping, I kind of know if there's any holes to fill. But I love this and I couldn't say no. Um... And so then I saw this for five bucks. I thought five bucks, why not? This is a Kabuki brush. And I love foundation brushes that are very dense. For me, they give an air brush finish. And one of mine that I had, the handle just broke. So I thought I'd try this. Probably should have just ordered it. We will see. This looks like an old school shaving brush. Um, we will see. This is not as dense as I would like. Um, and it's said basically for a seamless finish with foundation, setting powder, bronzer, blush, etc. So I do think this might be good for buffing out. Um, I will be interested to see how it does with makeup. I really like the super, super dense ones and they give like a really good airbrush like skin finish. So we will see. 
Um, this, I don't, I'm not sure this is going to be a love, but for five bucks, I thought it would be, um, a nice thing to try. This is such a random thing. It got me on the way out. You know how like you walk through this huge, like on the way to the checkout, there's like this huge aisle of stuff. So we have glass or whatever those are, flat top um, oven. And so this was five bucks too, or actually six bucks. So the Wyman uh, cooktop cleaner. So I don't know, we will see how it goes, but I thought, why not? Very useful. I absolutely love face scrubbers. And the other day I thought we'd lost mine, although I'm not sure where, I don't know. I thought, I don't know, it, I, we couldn't find it. Um, and so I like to have backups. This was only $3.99. Um, I totally recommend these. Now I will say, I don't know. I think they're the soft ones. I've tried to feel through it. Um, these really, I feel like give a clean. It's also kind of, again, almost like a self care moment, but I really do feel like these help clean your skin a lot better. Um, I like the soft ones. I have, I think I got one in a box, a subscription box in the last few months and they were like hard and yeah. So you want the soft ones, but honestly, if you haven't tried it, I love these. Um, so I picked up a pack of these just so I have them around in case we lose one again. I am a pumpkin spice candle lover, nut, I don't know. So I, um, I think this is one of those. Um, and again, when I went in late September, they were gone. And I will say, um, I thought I was just a pumpkin spice candle is fine, but I will say here lately, the scents have been weird. And so I've become really picky and they don't have many to choose from. Um, so this is just a spice, spice pumpkin. Their candles are now running $7.99, used to be $5.99. Oh, I love it. I will probably start burning it, uh, currently. I don't know. I just love pumpkin spice. So pumpkin spice, I go crazy for that candle. And then I go crazy for pine scented candles at Christmas. So I probably drive my husband nuts, but I will have a pumpkin spice candle going for, uh, well, maybe now through October. Um, and then I found another one. This was called Spooky Season. Um, this was also $7.99. And this was just a nice blend of... Um, Although right now it's, depending on how you sniff it, it kind of smells like apple cinnamon. It kind of smells like pumpkin. There's even some like almost cookie notes, which I don't like the cookie notes, but anyway, it was just good. Um, I almost bought two of these because I smelled a bunch of candles. There were not that many pumpkin spice and I'm picky. I don't know. But, so I got these and I don't know if I have the willpower not to burn them. ASAP. And then let's see, I forget what this is already. Um, oh yeah. So body oil was on my list to go get. Um, and so I found this and I thought, why not? So this was $7.99 for eight ounces, which I don't really, I think that's a fairly decent deal. Um, and it's a dropper bottle. It has rosehip oil. Um, so this is safflower oil, cottonseed oil, almond oil, argan oil, olive oil, jojoba oil, sunflower oil, coconut oil, uh, avocado oil, and then at the very end, rose oil. I love body oil. I put it on my arms. I put it on my neck and then right here. Um, so I was getting probably just dehydrated arms, but like when I woke up from sleeping or whatever, there were kind of lines in my arm. I they go away when I use oil. So anyway, let's see what this smells like. It does have a rose scent and I seem like, at least from watching other videos, it seems like people love or hate um, rose. I don't mind it. Um, so anyway, I got some body oil. So I love body oil. And then my last thing, which was kind of a impulse at this point, I need to lay off the brushes. It was on the clearance aisle for $4.50. I absolutely love wet brushes. I only use wet brushes on my daughter, myself, um, the detangling kind. I love it. And then I also have a boar bristle brush that I really like, but it's falling apart. It was by Ipsy and sadly it's just falling apart. So this number one was really pretty. Number two was $4.50 and number three, it was a detangling boar bristle combined. 
So I thought it's really a win-win, I think. And for $4.50, it was on the clearance section. I thought, why not? Now, I think they were saying... They're saying natural boar bristles. So they're saying 100% natural boar bristles, which honestly, you generally see... I was going to say imposter. Uh, synthetic ones. So that is what this looks like. I will say it's interesting that the boar bristle are very short compared to the other ones. And on my Ipsy boar bristle brush, they're the same length. So let's give this a try. Um, boar bristle is supposed to add shine and help like pull the oil down. Um, which then, you know, moisturizes, etc. So I can't see from the viewfinder what this did. Uh, I think overall, I do like the feel of it. So anyway, for $4.50, it was kind of a win-win. So that is my TJ Maxx haul. Honestly, TJ Maxx and Marshalls are my guilty pleasures. I love going in there. Um, it is hard. I mean, I will say here lately though, it's a 50-50 chance of whether I buy anything. Generally, I get a, like about a $60 haul like this and I'm just, I don't know. It just makes my heart happy. Um, and then there's times here lately where it's like there is nothing, nothing. I will say their skincare has gone, I feel like downhill. Both of them seem to have more curated skincare sections where I almost feel like they're placing them purposely. Like before I felt like you could find a lot of like oddball, really good deals of good things to try because it was like what places had left over. But now I almost feel like think they're making things for places. But anyway, I am the most excited about my candles. And honestly, I love this. I don't know, there was no way I was going home without this. Um, I can't wait. So this has to go out in the garage for another month and a half. I mean, I don't, I'm normally a October 1st decorator. My daughter will start begging sometime in September. And here lately, we've been, I've been cracking towards like uh, September 20th. So, anywho. And up next, I will try this on. And you guys can tell me yay or nay. Or maybe I'll know myself when I see it in the camera. All right, I'll be up next with my Stitch Fix. All right, so I am back before my husband starts <laughs> trimming the bushes right out front. So, I like it. Um, I mean, honestly, I'm going to say I, I love the color. I love the pattern. Um, I love the three buttons. So, um, it's probably going to stay for whatever reason. And I feel like I just had a top like this that I think I sent back for some reason. Um, and I just feel like the back is a little clingy. Like, I feel like this year's trends are more straight down, uh, uh, sleeker fit where if this was more like it came out like an A-line, I would love it. Um, but honestly, like this is super cute, just like this, go out, run errands. I could easily wear this to work. Um, it is a little laying flat on my back um, or like kind of highlighting the back fat areas. Um, I've also come to just try to accept that honestly, I have back fat, even when I lost 30 pounds, I had back fat. So that's not really going anywhere. Um, so I don't know. I would love you guys to tell me keep, not keep. Um, it only cost me like $28, I think, with because I had the gift card or so. Um, so I like it. Like I said, if I hadn't just gotten like so many awesome things, uh, I think I would be happier. Um, and I do think I sometimes settle in to being uh, too hard on myself. So anyway, I think this is a cute top. At the moment, I'm going to keep it. Um, unless you guys all come back and are like, Alicia, you're crazy. Um, but anyway, I think it's cute. And I loved that it was like a plain neutral and I liked the little micro dots. Anyway, thank you so much. I hope you have a great day and I will talk to you soon.